At the 2024 NFL Honors, we saw a number of Texans up for an award. But one man who didn't get his proper credit that night, or really all season, is Texans general manager Nick Osario. You can start in January, where he helped to land one of the hottest coaches on the market in D'Amico Ryans. And all he did was lead the Texans to double-digit victories, a AFC South title, and their first playoff win since 2019. But it's not all about the X's and the O's, it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. In March, free agency opened, and so did Nick Casario with the Texans checkbook. He signed some key free agent veterans like Dalton Schultz, Devin Singletary, and Sheldon Rankins, each who will open this offseason as a free agent, but this time with an even higher value than when they signed a year ago. By April, it was draft time, and the Texans needed, well, a lot. With the second overall pick, they got their quarterback in C.J. Shroud, who finished with numbers that put him in the same conversations as Hall of Famers like Joe Montana and Tom Brady. But he wasn't done. He traded up to grab Will Anderson Jr., who became the first Texas defensive player to make the Pro Bowl since J.J. Watt. That was just the offseason. In season, he was wheeling and dealing too. The Texans injury report continued to get longer and longer and longer. So he brought in reinforcements. That includes adding Derek Barnett and Desmond King, two players who had an impact down the stretch. The Texans finished with their most successful season under his tenure. But as the calendar turns to the 2024 offseason, Casario now must weigh his options, both in free agency and the upcoming draft, as he will look to make the proper investment for the Houston Texans.